Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dave and today we're going to open this rooftop tent for you. This is the Nature Nest um, aluminum made by, uh, sold by Bama Car. Where would I go? There it went. Sold by Bama Car um, on Amazon. So the Nature Nest aluminum rooftop tent. So we're going to open this up for you. All right, here we go. Um, first time doing it. So here we go. All right, so I had to mute this part just because they started mowing the grass and, and weed eating out front, but I use a little step ladder and then I unbuckled the latch there on the right and then the one here on the left. Um, now this sits a little bit further in on my Nissan than I would prefer, so you gotta give it a little tug to get it up, but it raised up really fast. Um, got the strap there in, in the front, that way that you can pull the top down um, so that'll help out. So I'm just getting some stuff out of the way right now. This is my ladder bag. So pulling the ladder bag out, we'll use it and set that up in a minute. All right. I'm going to go up in here and pull the poles out next. Now it comes with extra poles, but we we only use four and there's two different styles. I'll use the ones um, that are longer and have more of an elbow on the end of it uh, for the front of the rainfly, which there you go, you can see those now. So they've got kind of that elbow look on the end of it. So I'll put one of those in um, each side on the front and that will give us quite a bit of tension to hold that. Oh yeah, there you can see one of the, one of the workers. <laughs> So, all right, uh, let's see here. We'll go ahead and do the other one. Try and not fall off the back of the Armada. And uh, I'm well aware this isn't the perfect, um, you know, overlanding vehicle, but it is what we have. It was either put it on this or put it on the Audi. And the Audi gets good gas mileage. And this one already has a 5.7 liter in it and it doesn't get good gas mileage. So, hey, what's well, a couple more miles per gallon off. All right, so those are the straighter um, poles, and we'll put those on the two side pieces. They just go into a little channel, um, and then you bend them up real good and hook them in. They pull that rain fly out a lot. So here we go again on the last one. It's two holes basically that, that align up and it holds it into the against the bottom of the rooftop tent. So and then that just goes into the grommet. And there we go. Um, try to flip that up just out of the way, but it's too windy out right now. So that wasn't possible. So I'll just hook it to one of the poles there. That should work out okay. Alright. So that's that's that piece of it. We'll get our rest of our extra poles out. Here again, don't need them, they're just extra ones. And then uh, I'm gonna reposition the camera here in just a second and um, show you the install of the uh, ladder. So here we go in just a moment. All right, so it's just your typical collapsible ladder that um, all the rooftop tents have. Um, pretty nice though and just hooks onto the two latches I can put it on the either side or the back obviously on the you can tell by the look of mine that it's not gonna go on the back of mine but um, so really simple I'm just attaching the velcro at the bottom so it doesn't just hang there and fly away but um, you pull it out as far as you need to um, that is extended all the way so just taking a look at some things before I climb up in there but here we go. Okay, now I'm attaching the two um, external bags that you can put on here. Um, they're supposed to go on the back because there's a channel little groove that they slide into, but I'm not sure how well it's gonna work with the way that this rooftop tent is positioned on the Armada. They're supposed to hang, that way if you put your shoes in there or whatever, they're, they're virtually waterproof, right? Um, but those are just kind of laying up against um, 
against mine, so I don't know how well that's gonna work. So, there's the bag, you can see the bag. It's got a real deep pocket inside with uh, mesh on the bottom, so if it anything is in there, like they can air out and dry. But, here again, just slides into the little C channel on the back of the, the rooftop tent. And they just kind of hang there. Uh, not the best uh, in my situation, I think. So I may have to do something a little bit different, but we'll see. It's just got some clasp that you can clasp there. And I'll just do that to the other side as well while we're in here. Move some stuff out of the way. By the way, this is my first time doing a voiceover, so let me know how you, how you guys like this. I've never done it before. All right. Um, yep, just about done. And then we will, we'll take you inside for a little tour here in just a second. All right, I think this gives you guys a really awesome look at how amazing this rain fly is on this particular rooftop tent. There are a lot of them where they don't have this, so if it's raining um, or it's really sunny and you want to get some shade, it just it's just not there. So that's one thing that I really like about this is the size of this rain fly that comes out on the front and each of the sides. So uh, it's got windows on both sides with screen, of course. And so lots of ventilation that you can get in here and then on the back window as well. But that's one thing I like about this aluminum one compared to some of the ABS ones that are out there. Um, about the same weight. Uh, it's about 178 pounds for this rooftop tent. But um, overall, um, I, I like it a lot. You can see the bags there uh, that are just kind of drooped. But... There we go. Imagine you're sitting there, you got the beautiful lake or, you know, some scenery out behind you and the sun's coming up or the sun's going down. Um, it's pretty amazing how you could just sit there and, and relax at the edge of it. So I was testing out the bag to see how it worked. Holds shoes very nicely and would probably do okay if it rained because here again, the, the mesh is on the very, very bottom of the bag, but I'll have to give it a try. And see how it does but yeah there we go i'm just chilling now <laughs> let me know what you guys think When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you, unseen you're not a